Hello, welcome to lesson 12, exercise one of Mastering Java. Here what we need to do is create four strings exactly as we have below, and the text of these strings are here. This one's living zebras, juicy oranges, do the victory dance, and tusk of an elephant. So we'll create those four strings, and then what we're going to do is print the strings to the screen and then extract some characters from each one of these strings to show how we can just read any character we want out of a string. So we'll read the first character from the first string, meaning this one, and print it to the screen. And then we'll read the seventh character from the second string, then the eighth character from the third string, and then the twelfth character from the fourth string. Um, so let's go ahead and just look into, in, at the code and see how we're doing it here. First thing we're going to do in the main method is declare and initialize all four strings uh, with the uh, text that's given in the problem. And here we have string one, two, three, and four. Uh, declared and initialized with the strings that we have had in the problem. Now, the first thing we want to do is read the first character from the first string. So as we learned in the lesson, what we're going to do is we're going to use this method here that's a part of the string object, and it's called care at, which means character at. So what you do is you type in the name of the string, in this case string one, you put the period, and then the care at function is going to be presented as an option, or you can just type it in. And then inside the parentheses, you're, you're passing to Java with the index of the character that you want to read out. Now the big gotcha with using this method here is that whenever, in this case, the problem says read the first character from the string. Well, you don't want to put the number one here because with strings, just like in arrays, you always start counting from zero. So actually the index of zero is the first letter from this string. So that's why we put a zero here. Now for the next one, you see it's asking us to read the seventh character from the second string. So for the second string, we have string two dot care at, and again, it's going to be one less than the actual character because we always start counting from zero. So for instance, for string two, you'll be counting zero, one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. And then we have string three, we're reading index of seven, which means we're getting the eighth character out. String four, we're asking for an index of 11, which means we're gonna get the 12th character out. And one thing I'm noticing right away that in, in the problem, we wanted to print all four strings to the screen first before we actually extract the character. So let's do that by system.out.println, and we'll just do str1, and then we will put that as a semicolon. And then what I'm going to do now is I'm going to copy this, control C, and I'll paste it a few extra times, and I'll just change the string two, three, and four. And so what we'll end up getting is, and we'll go ahead and put a blank line here, system.out.println, and we'll just leave that empty, and we'll put a semicolon. So what we're going to do is print the four strings out, then we'll put a blank line, then we'll put the characters on the screen. Each of these characters are going to be on its own line because we're getting a carriage return with each one of these print statements. So let me go ahead and hit save and then run. So we see living zebras, juicy oranges, do the victory dance, tusk of an elephant, blank line, and looky here. This problem was specially constructed to give you the letter L, the letter O, the letter V, the letter E, which spells love going down there. And you can just check this out. We're looking for character one of the first string, which gives us this guy. We're looking for, according to the problem, the seventh character from the second string. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, that's the O, and the eighth character from the next string, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, that's the V, and then we have uh, the twelfth character from the last one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, so we get the E. Um, the only thing you have to realize when you're using uh, this method, the character at method, is that what you pass into it is an index, starting from counting with the first character being a zero and up from there. So you just need to make sure you get that right. You'll need to get used to that because that's how it works in Java. That's how it works in other programmings as well. Usually you begin counting characters in a string with zero. 